Hello my beautiful sunflowers. Today I'm going to show you my go-to recipe for meatloaf. Um, we're actually going to be making turkey meatloaf today. I do make this majority of the time with beef, but turkey meatloaf is very hard to make taste good in my opinion, in my husband's opinion. When I told him I was going to make turkey meatloaf one day, he looked at me like I was a mad woman. Um, so, I figured, why not share it? Some of you guys are probably still in quarantine. A lot of the world is. So, you know, this meatloaf recipe, it's very easy. It's super flavorful, flavorful and everything like that. So, I wouldn't necessarily say that this is my recipe per se. I found some recipes throughout the years mainly from like the package, you know, the meatloaf seasoning package and um, kind of just recipes online and stuff. And I kind of combine five different recipes into one big recipe that I love and my husband loves. My dad even loves it. And he's not a huge meatloaf fan. And every time he comes over, he's like, um, can you make your meatloaf? And I say, sure, Poppy, I can do that for you. So I figured it'd be a good thing for sides. We're actually going to roast some vegetables. They're not fresh or anything, but they are vegetables. I'm going to be roasting these picked sweet farms of vegetables for roasting. I picked these up at Walmart. I'm pretty sure you could probably get them at any store. Honestly, any frozen roasting vegetables or if you want to do fresh vegetables or anything like that, that would be fine. You do the sides on how you want to. That's up to you. My meatloaf recipe, I make it into like muffin tins. I don't do an actual loaf. The reason why I do that is because I feel like with the muffin tins, it always cooks faster. So instead of cooking it for an hour, it cooks for like maybe 20 minutes, 30 minutes at the most. I feel like you actually have more leftovers than you did if it's an actual loaf loaf. I, I don't know why. It's the same amount of meat. It's two pounds of meat, you know, and I make enough. I try to make enough for leftovers for like my husband to eat lunch the next day, me to eat lunch the next day, or for us to eat dinner on it the next day, whatever the case may be. So these vegetables, you actually have to bake them at 450. So right now my oven is warming up and it just has three directions. The first one is preheat oven to 450. The second one is place frozen vegetables in a shallow baking pan. Drizzle with oil, salt, and pepper. So you need three tablespoons olive oil or other cooking oil, half a teaspoon of salt, and half a teaspoon of black ground pepper. So then you toast, toss to coat and arrange in a single layer. Then you roast for 20 minutes or until desired browning occurs. Stir once halfway through. So since my oven is preheating, we're gonna go ahead and get some sizzles. Cut this baby open. So I got the sweet potatoes, red potatoes, carrots, and butternut squash. Mm. So I have a cookie sheet. Perfect in my opinion. Actually, you know what we're going to do? I'm going to take a bowl. So we're going to put the cookie sheet aside. I have such a small kitchen, you guys. So, And with filming, <laughs> it's even smaller. So we put the frozen veggies in the bowl. We're going to keep the back because I need the directions. So I have my olive oil extra virgin from the good old H-E-B. So this is going to be our tablespoon. We have, whoa, one, two, and three. That's 90-10 turkey. So I have the round turkey thawing out in the, in the sink right now in hot water because I forgot to I watch. <laughs> Good thing about ground turkey though is I always find that it thaws out a lot faster than ground beef. We have our sea salt and then we have our pepper. We're gonna taste our, take our bowl and we're gonna actually get a wooden spoon and we're gonna stir it so it all mixes it together. Um, so now it says that you wanna toast a coat, toss the coat and arrange in a single layer. So I'm gonna go ahead and put all of this on there on that baking sheet now. Okay, we're gonna put it in the oven for 20 minutes. Well, our vegetables are done. <laughs> so let's get back to the meatloaf. Okay, 
So you have to cook this meatloaf at 350. So we roasted these veggies at 450. So I just turned it down, which is already done. Let me see if I can show you these veggies. They're looking pretty good. There's not a whole lot of them, but it's just me and my husband, so that's okay. Mmm, looking good. Okay, so you wanna take two pounds of meat. Um, as I stated, I'm doing ground turkey. This is the Huggy Suckle White Ground Turkey. It is 90-10. I have had my gallbladder removed, so I really don't like super fatty foods. However, with the turkey, you can get fattier, like you can get the fattier cut, I guess, because it's just not that fatty. But with the beef, I suggest to get the less fattier, um, especially when it comes to the meatballs, because otherwise your meatloaf is just drowning in its own fat. So I rinsed the bowl that we used for the veggies earlier. So. You have your two pounds of beef. Now what we wanna do is take a cup of breadcrumbs. I like to use gluten-free breadcrumbs. This is my personal preference. You do you, boo. And then we wanna get a half a cup of ketchup. I like to use a Whataburger ketchup. Now, we only have the fancy ketchup, but I like to usually mix the spicy ketchup, which we ran out of our big ones, so that's why I'm using these. But I feel like mixing spicy ketchup and the regular ketchup really gives it that extra va va voo. And it's just good. this because next it's going to be all about the seasoning and then we're just going to go in with our hands measure this I just kind of go off of what my soul tells me get some salt we're gonna get some pepper get some a1 sauce do a batch of Worcestershire sauce Get some basil. I'm gonna put a little bit of renick oregano in there. I'm gonna put some onion powder in there. Alright, now we're just gonna go back in here and mix this all over again. I'm gonna go ahead and get a Clorox wipe. Just wipe that off because we don't want to be spreading these germs. Okay, so we have our muffin tin, we have our extra virgin olive oil. I'm gonna try to make 12 today. You can make more if you want smaller balls, but I want bigger balls. <laughs> All right, 
So now what we're gonna do, just grab some meat that looks about right, and we're just gonna make balls. off of other balls that are like too big because I'm weird and I like to have even <laughs> bowl that had the turkey out now what I'm gonna go ahead and do is take these meatballs put them in the oven um, I'm actually gonna put them in there for about 15 minutes and then I think I'm gonna throw those vegetables in there again just kind of get them more All right roasted. you guys that's it for the meatloaf recipe um, I really hope that you guys enjoyed it I hope that you try it I think you'll love it with turkey I always suggest it could get a little bit longer than you would think but also too, the bigger the meatballs that you make, the bigger, you're, I mean, the longer you're gonna have to cook them. So kind of just keep that in mind. Um, you can also make smaller meatballs and actually get about 18 out of them and cook them for probably 20 minutes. I did end up cooking that turkey for an extra five minutes. So overall 25 minutes. And then those roasting vegetables are great. The bag that you get is kind of little, but what it, it is what it is. It was just me and my husband. Um, but yeah. But most importantly, I want you to really, really look at yourself, really look at how you're thinking about races or people of other races, really look at how you are treating them, really look at how you think about their situations. And I want you to just be kinder both to them and yourself. Um, you know, treat them as you would want to be treated. You're not going to want to be treated in a way that they've been treated. So don't treat them that way. If you have anybody that you would like to share, by all means, please do so. And I hope you have a great day. Make great choices. Bye guys.